from your experience, is there anything different from working with Alice in Chains and working specifically with just Jerry Contrell on his solo projects? Yes. Well, now it's uh, everything in Alice in Chains is a democratic process. It's like, oh, hey, I like this. I don't like that. Uh, everyone's voice has the same you know, weight. It's, everybody's equal. Uh, for Jerry, it's it's just Jerry. It's you know it's it's Jerry. You know he's creating it. He's the architect. He's the singer. He's the guitar player. Uh, he comes up all the all the bass lines. Um, so uh, between him and the producer, they they'll sit there and they'll discuss a couple of things. But otherwise, it's it the buck stops with him. It's like you know hey no I don't like that or I like that and we need to do this. It's like all right cool. So uh, you know. The drummer is going to call me up, or the guy that played drums on this record is going to call me up. Hey, you know what? I think I want to change something. And it's like, well, that's not going to happen because that was a month ago, and you know we're already moved forward. Like, you know, if if I can fix it, I will. But we're not going to go back and retract something. Chris Sheldon told me that Dave Grohl likes to overdub his vocals. Does Chris um, does Chris Cornell does does um, Jerry Contrell like to overdub his vocals? Like to oh, his con yeah. I mean, like his. His vocals are, are overdubbed. So he's, we create uh, the past and uh, uh, then we work on all the guitars. We get all the guitars happening. Then we get fit the bass in there. And then, uh, then we'll start with all the, all the vocals. And uh, it's, you know, Jerry likes like Allison Chains. He hears lots of harmonies going on. So, you know, he's got to, you know, get his lead vocal in there. Then he's got to hold on a second. No, we take your time. Yeah, I've got a call coming in. Hopefully that didn't stop the recording. Uh, no yeah, so Jerry, you know, he'll hear harmonies and like maybe a couple weeks later, hey, you know what? I think I, I'm hearing this other harmony. It's like, all right, well, let's let's do it. Let's throw that in there. And he does it. It makes it cooler. It's like, all right, great. Very cool. And does does he like to, um, like, mm -hmm. is there a lot of layering when it comes to like the guitars and that kind of thing with uh, Jerry? Absolutely. It's, it. you know. I would say even more so because it, now this is his solo thing. Yeah. Yeah. And does he prefer analog or digital recording? You know, I think he likes the e how easy analog is because it's like, you know, like he'll say, I'm a caveman. This thing doesn't make any sense to me. He just, you know, <laughs> hey, the mic free's on, the guitar is going. Uh, he can just hit play and record. He's working uh, if I'm not there. Uh but I'll get a call. Big, you know, I'm, I'm not hearing anything. I don't. I've got my, I've got my track armed. I got the mic pre on, and I'm like, okay, well, did you turn the microphone on? <laughs> and he'll be like, ah, you know. But you know, uh, just, you know, if, and that's why he hires me. It's like I, 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 I'm the guy running the rig and making it happen. Uh, he doesn't have to think about it. But you know, when I'm not there, then all of a sudden he's thrown into a situation where. Now it's not easy, and there are things that he doesn't understand, mm -hmm. uh, you know, about like, you know, oh, hey, we changed the input on that. Sorry. Uh, that's why you're not hearing your vocal come through that channel. And then if, you know, like right now, it's like we tracked a bunch of stuff for Jerry at a couple of studios. Now for vocals and like small overdubs, we could be at his house because I don't have to drag around a giant mixing desk and a tape machine and, you know, turn his house inside out just to you know get a couple of things done he can actually you know he's got a small uh workstation rig at his house and you know we're able to get uh some quality work done so for you personally what's the most rewarding part of your job i get you know like when you know and this goes back to like when we were getting guitar sounds for jerry when you know nick and i were dialing in these sounds and like you know jerry's gone the next day he comes in we're like all right this is this is the test do we get it do we pass or do we fail and Jerry put his guitar on, and and he starts playing a couple of riffs, and he's just like, yeah, and he smiles. Right there, that is what it's all about, like making your client happy. And, and, you know, and you know, making him happy, he doesn't have to worry about anything else anymore. It's like, all right, cool, we just did our job. That's killer, yeah. Hey, guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more because there is a lot more to come. All the videos on my channel are original. I'm the one filming, editing, and conducting all the interviews. So if you guys like what you see and you want to support, the best way to do so is honestly just to subscribe. Thanks for watching.